Hello, good afternoon, Leslie. Now you're not too early, you're bang on time at half past one, so we're a little bit late today um, because we're in power centering. So there you go. But welcome on to everybody. Um, hopefully, you've, you've got the message that we were going to be late today, so it's not too confusing. Um, not getting, just bear with me a second because I'm not getting any messages on Facebook yet. And you're normally there right at the beginning, so I must be doing something wrong so I can't see them. Um, so, who have we got on, on YouTube? We have um, Pat in sunny Spain. It's sunny England today as well, Pat. Um, Lisa in Cyprus, miss me on Wednesday. Um, well, nice that you're here now. Good afternoon, Christine and Deborah and Isabella. So let me just check on um, Facebook again. Sorry about this. I do like, don't like to miss out on any of your comments. I'm not seeing any, and there's normally loads of you there. Oh, what are we doing wrong there then? We'll work this one out, I'm sure. Apologies if you're on Facebook leaving comments because I can't see that. Oh, there you are. You're on the other side. Well, fancy that. We have... Um, oh, sorry about this. That everything's the other way around to what it normally is. Um, where have your comments gone? Oh, anyway. Apologies if I don't read your comments. I can't see them at the moment, so I don't know what's what's quite happening there. Bit odd, because there's two hundred and eighty-seven of you there, so I'm sure somebody's commented on something somewhere. Oh, Celia's there. I've just got half messages. Oh no, and Sarah's and oh, we've put an offering on the house straight away, Sarah. It was gorgeous. It was huge. Um, it's an old school and the thing is it still looks like an old school there's a lot of work needed going to it but I but it is lovely um, hi Alex oh he's gone again oh well, this is so frustrating don't know why that's happening don't know why that's there um, hi Debbie hi Lynette um, Sally and Jan and Zoe's just joined the half yard club oh welcome along thank you now then, looks like my screen's frozen on YouTube. Oh, you're back on YouTube. Hi, Angela. Um, Julie's first time to find me live. Morning to you. Have we got Lisa with us this morning yet? We don't have Kim, um, my daughter, because um, she's off shopping at Ikea this morning, so she's just to the office. Um, need a bigger office, to be honest. So, odds with the comment. Uh, anyway, anyway. Um, I've, I have a ditty for you. I have a ditty uh, about wonky street. You've been asking what, what's happened to my ditties. So, my ditties are back. If you weren't aware of what my ditties are, then it's just a little funny poem that I've, I've written. Um, Alan's still doing virtual workouts. You're going to be so fit, Alan. Um, oh, good. So, I'm glad you can see me. Yeah, so house hunting this morning. That's why I wasn't here. I found an amazing place. It's an old schoolhouse. Um, it's got lots of ground and it's got loads of space for a, an office and a studio as well. It's just really, really run down. So we've put an offer in and everything is crossed for us. So cross everything for us. I'm really, really hoping for this one. Um, hi, Eva in Oklahoma and um, Janet in Kirimia. I don't know where that is because it sounds very glamorous. Um, oh, Neil is a subscriber. Lovely. Lisa's off to Ikea tomorrow sound a bit low. Joe, I turned it, I turned the sound down a bit because um, I can turn it up again. It goes very muffly when it's too loud. So hopefully that's improved a little bit. So Geraldine's tuning in for the first time. Lovely. Welcome along. Liz is in Leeds. Welcome to you. I could spend all day saying hello to you. But we're short on time today because um, we need to be done and gone before three o'clock because of the minute silence and the funeral and everything. Um, so I'm going to get straight into a demo. I made this, I can't remember why, it must have been from a magazine years ago, um, and it's fabric slashing, and I just thought, you know, I really enjoyed doing that, so I thought we'll have another go. And it's it's really effective, it's like a, a fake chenille effect. Um, no problem, Deborah. glad it helped. Hi, Marthys in Malta, hi Dawn. Um, so it's nice and tactile, and it's really, really easy to do, and I love the way that it all, oh that's my ditty. I love the way that it all kind of fluffs up and gets really, really soft. 
So we're going to be doing a similar bag to this. It won't have as much quilting involved because I didn't want to be here all day. Um, so do, should we have a ditty first? This is about Wonky Street, okay? So you ready? No left nor right, no up or down. There's no straight lines in wonky town with wonky windows and curtains in a tangle and wonky window boxes where plants dangle at an angle. A wonky frame around a wonky door and a wonky mat on a wonky floor. The colourful cars, the horns, they honk because you can't see very far when the roads are on the wonk. Wonky Wendy at number four bashed her head on a wonky door and fell to the floor. Her head's still sore. And at number three is Wonky Stan. He's cooked soup in a wonky pan. Cooking on a hill, of course the soup did spill. He's such a silly man. If you like straight lines, then just keep waiting because everything here is undulating. Wonky folk are jolly and so full of zest because they all agree that a wonky life is best. Thank you very much. I still haven't found my ditty book though. So I'm, I'm writing new ones when I get a, a minute. Thank you, Dawn. Cross everything for me. Thank you, Anne. Margaret's first time on YouTube. Angela's first time as well. Oh, we've got lots of first timers today. Come and say hello if you are. Um, Margaret's first time too. Enjoys the live shows. A chair cut it. I miss that, Glennis. Um... I know, Alex, it's big enough. It's big enough for the office and everything there. Hello, Alison in Troon. Um, oh, thank you, thank you very much, Eve. Thank you. Thank you, Jenny. <laughs> Hi, Deborah. First time again on YouTube. So anyway, let's get going before we run out of time. Um, I was going to show you some new fabrics that we've got on the website, but um, have a look on the website under new fabrics. It's all the stuff we've got behind me up here. It's really pretty, but I want to get on with some sewing. So, I have two pieces of fabric. Now, you can make these any size you like, obviously. Um, so, mine happen to be 11 in, uh, 13 inches across and 11 inches down. And I have one back piece, or one front piece, I've already put some fusible fleece on the wrong side of the back piece. Hello, Florina from Italy. Um, so one back, one front. Then I'll need a lining the same size for the back and the front. So two pieces of that. And I've put the fusible fleece on the wrong side of the lining. I'd normally put it on the outside, but I wanted to make it um, a bit quicker. So that's why I've done that. So that's front and back lining lining so we'll come to that later on and then i'm going to make a heart shape so i've just cut a piece of fabric that's slightly smaller and that's going to go behind the heart and then some brightly colored fabric to go behind that as well so i've chosen a yellow and a lilac and a bright pink because i think those colors when you cut into this fabric will really stand out i think that's going to make a very pretty heart shape so let's get on with the business of making the heart and slashing the fabric first of all. Um, I've shown you so many times how I draw hearts and make hearts, so I'm not going to go through all of that again. Um, but I want my heart to sit kind of in the center here, not, not too big. Um, so where's my Sharpie? Oh, that one will do. Got a sharpie. I have got a sharpie just so you can see what I'm doing. So I'm going to have my heart about, let me measure it, um, let's do it seven inches long. So I'm going to go from about six inches and just draw in the shape of the heart. And then we'll cut that out. So don't look at me cutting paper with my fabric scissors. Turn your heads the other way, because this is not normally done. I've just got another pair of scissors here. I don't think that's going to ruin them. So I've got a nice heart shape there. So I need 
to sandwich these three pieces of fabric together like so with this fabric on the bottom like that that's going to go behind this piece I'll trim all of this back when I've finished just make sure that that's caught the black piece up the back that's going to go in the center and then I need to draw around the edge so I know where I'm sewing so I've got a chalk pencil because I think it's the only thing that's going to stand out sunny and great in Manchester Lynn lovely Lynn loves Debbie's ditties <laughs> thank you very much I think I'm a little bit behind with all the messages aren't I faux chenille that's the one um, laid a oh you did a chilled a chilled baby years ago a chilled baby um thank you susan viewing was very good hope we get it oh i am way behind with facebook oh way behind with facebook comments sorry about that i do go back and um and read all these again but facebook's looking a little bit odd this morning for me Anyway, so centralise this and I'm just going to draw around the edge. I hope I can see that. Just about see where that's going. In fact, I should have pinned all those layers together, shouldn't I? Right. This was a lighter fabric I'd be using an air or a water erasable pen. That's it, let's get the chalk going. That's not transferring too well, to be honest. Let's press on. Oh, that's it. Press on harder, Deborah. Let me show you what I'm doing. Um, so, just marking around the edge of my heart. That's better. I think my, my chalk wheel was jammed up a little bit. Just about see where that is. I don't know if you can at home. Um, I'm going to just pop a few pins in here just to hold all of those layers together while I sew the first bit. So first up, I'm going to sew around the shape of the heart with quite a small stitch. So my machine defaults to 2.2 and that's what I'm going to use. So let's put that under there. Try not to take away my brush strokes. Find my foot pedal. And round we go. And I'm using a white thread on black so I can see what I'm doing. Which you can't over here. There we go. Let's move that over a bit. So nice and slowly around the curves. I'm not cutting this out so it's not the end of the world if my lines go a little bit wobbly stopping the point and turn around jeans caught us live from scotland she says hooray on youtube welcome along jean all right let's go down here and back down to that point and chuck Chut, chut, <laughs> cut is what I meant to say. Chut, where did that come from? <laughs> um, low voice volume. Turn it up a bit then, Maria. I can't go any louder from this, Sandra. We're, we're quite loud. Um, Sarah, the pieces of fabric were, my outside fabric is 13 inches wide, 11 inches deep, but it can be any size you like, really. Okay, now then, if this was a paler fabric or if I had the time and inclination, I need to draw some lines and I'm going to do them diagonally across here that I'm going to quilt along. Um, but I'm going to, I'm going to do, just do that freehand for now. So I can cut back this fabric now because I don't need all of that. So I'll, I'll just neaten that up a little bit behind the heart. Like so. Oh, 
just so it's not too lumpy. Morning Arlene in Jamaica. Janet's making outdoor seat cushions. Oh, that's, well, it's nice weather for sitting outside, isn't it? It's got the same as we have here. Um, oh, okay, off you go and go and see your nan. Say hello from me too, Alan. Um, thanks, Carol, that's really sweet of you. I'm certainly having a wonderful weekend. Do you know, um, I was talking to Kim, I shouldn't tell you this. I'm just going to draw straight lines, or sew straight lines. Um, taking the stitch length up to 2.6. Um, but she's not watching because she's a Taikia. And um, I said to her, I'm, write, I'm writing a ditty about Wonky Street in, in Wonky Town, in a wonky world. And I said, so I think we should have Wonky Wendy and maybe Wonky William. She said, you can't have Wonky William. Wonky Willie, it's like you can't, you can't do that, can you? So we had Stan instead. That was, that was the reason why. Linda, don't worry. It's all a bit of it's one of those rush days today. Starting late, finishing early, got to get ready for the crafting live show at four o'clock this afternoon as well. I'm not I'm not very organized today. Right. I'm going to cover the heart with this because sewing in straight lines is a little bit like watching paint dry, isn't it? So I'll just cover the heart area. Not the whole thing. I think it would work well. Want to collect? No, we can't. Can't have that, <laughs> Alex. Oh, your mind! I'm sewing across the whole area, Eve. So my heart's in the centre here. I'm sewing across the whole lot. So I think it's. I think it's more effective, but also if you're going to stop sewing right on that line, you're going to have lots of loose ends of threads, and it's actually going to be quicker to sew all the way across than um, than just sewing the heart. I'm reckoning because I'd have to, you know, back tack and all that kind of thing. I wish I'd got a faster sewing machine. Oh, Sarah, wasn't me, Sarah. I, I, I didn't, I didn't enter my mind. It was, it was Kim that said that. My just goes to show how I brought up my children, doesn't it? A little bit more to do. <laughs> Helen, I've, I've, I've never actually, I've, I'm saying this, I've never actually caught my fingers under the needle. What I have done before now is to have the, you know, the screw that keeps the needle in place? That bashing on your fingers, really painful. One more line on this side, then we'll go over to the others. I do like the young lady bit, though, Helen. Like the young lady. Who's that who made a bag? I don't know what's happening with Facebook. Um, Anne Marie, lovely. <laughs> Zell's been feeding her gremlins. I wouldn't. I'd starve them. I wouldn't encourage that at all, Zell. Let's turn around and go the other way. So. I've chosen a fabric that you can't see the lines on very well, but when that bright fabric behind stands out, it's going to look amazing. Um, oh, go on, Maria. But thank you. My, my lines are. This is a this is a wonky bag. My lines are all over the place because I'm reading. Um, Ed, I will be, but it's not been published yet. Um, is it, I think it's August that book's out. Sonia went very well, we've made an offer, we're waiting to hear, I'm asking everybody to cross everything for us today. A leaf tucked pillow behind me. Oh, the, yes, the smocked pillow. That one was actually made, made by my friend Melissa. Um, he's in one of my patterns. I need to start working on that smocking book as well. That's going to take ages. Sorry about the sewing in straight lines, but um, needs doing if we're doing this. The sewing machine cushion. Oh, that one. Yes, that's um, that's actually one of my sewing machines that was printed onto fabric for sewing quarter a few years ago. My my husband has been dressing the set. I didn't know we'd pop that one on there. So yeah, that's a. A blast from the past. 
Hey, Julie. Oh, hang on, I've, I've missed a comment. My comments on Facebook, I don't know why, they normally come up in a big long line all the way down the side so I can read them, and this time they're here. So I'm, I'm only seeing one message at a time, so apologies if I'm missing anything. Um, Linda's just finished a Japanese folded table runner, lovely. Hello, Irene, welcome one and all. And Pat is in Fairhope in Alabama. He is a, little, a lovely husband, Julie. He's a lovely husband. You've known him longer than I have. <laughs> I, I wouldn't be surprised if I get a cup of coffee at any time now. Oh, hang on a minute now then. Um, Buenos dias, me gustaría que sus tutoria les estiverian... Is that asking if I can do a tutorial in Spanish? Uh, well, I can't, because I can't speak Spanish. But you do have um, translate buttons on YouTube. Does that help? Hazel's in Turkey. Hello, I'll get a couple of claps from them. Um, thank you, Denise. Is it, uh, it is a bit slack, Alex, today with the coffee, I have to say. Um, oh, just come in. Didn't want him to hear me say that. <laughs> right, one one more line, and then we should get down to the business of cutting the fabric. Okay, let me show you what I'm doing. You can buy fabric slashing tools. Um, you could use your quick and pick. I'm going to use a pair of scissors. We'll see how we go. So basically, I'm going to cut. Can you actually see those lines? I haven't chosen the best fabric, have I? Um, I'm going to cut halfway in between each one of the stitch lines through the top four layers of fabric, but not through the backing. So actually, I think I'm going to get started off with a quick and pick. If I can find it. There we go. And see if this works. So I'm going to start in the middle really carefully. Ah, uh, that's going to be easier. So make sure, yes, make sure you don't go cut through the back one. So you'll be able to feel where you're going with that. There we go. And then you can cut all the way along. I'll do that with scissors now. I've started it. I don't think I've got all the layers, but I can go back over that again. So I kind of want to expose the black layer at the bottom. So I've got one more to do here. Oh, that's already cut a little bit. I just missed it with the scissors. So we have that. So I'm just cutting from one side of the heart to the other. You can still just about see where that was. And I've exposed all of those layers of fabric and just left the black in the background behind there. So we need to go across. All I should have done a smaller heart, shouldn't I? So I can feel that that's gone through, but not all the way through. So let's chop into that. It doesn't really matter if you do go all the way through because they're going to have a lining on this as well. But the more you use the bag, um, and the fluffier this gets, so you could even use a scrubbing brush to make it really fluffy, you will see that backing fabric. So let's in here. Might have missed a few layers, but you'll take more, more care at home and just make sure, because I've missed the bottom one there, but you get the gist. See if I can get it with this one. So again, I can feel that I haven't gone all the way through to the bottom. I haven't seen the advert for those. I know Morrison's do wonky veg, but I didn't know they'd done an advert. Is it? Is it like my wonky street people? Wonky Wendy and wonky Stan. So again, just snipping all the way across. We're good, Lisa, are you okay? Lisa and a spanner. All right, so. Nice. 
So you can't see these very much at the moment, but after a bit of wear or putting these through the washing machine, it will look amazing. Hello, Namaste Sat from India. Nice to hear from you. Should we do that when I'm cutting? Then I'll give it a scrub in just a second. That's a finished bag penny in different fabric, obviously. So this is what happens when it goes fluffy or when you've washed it or if you give it a scrub. So all of the colours from underneath are coming through. So on mine at the moment, it, it will come through, but I just need to really rough that up. Um, the reason I've done these diagonally as well, and I would, would suggest that you do that, if you're going to um, fray a fabric on the grain, so no, otherwise up and down, it will fray and you'll have big threads coming away. Um, if you try and fray fab fabric that's cut on a diagonal, it goes fluffy, which is a lot, it's a lot of a, it's more of a, a soft, but you're not going to have lots of stray threads coming off it. It doesn't, doesn't work that way. Uh, sorry, Penny. Thank you, Christina. Um, my measure is about half an inch or just over a centimetre. Um, I wouldn't do them any further apart than that. Just a little one there, then we're going in the opposite direction. So let me show you again what we're doing. So I'm just using the quick and pick to start off the, the cut line. No, just horizontally, Eve, I've only sewn, uh, sorry, diagonally. Um, so that's, that's my weave and I've only sewn diagonally across there. I've sewn around the shape of the heart first of all, just so that I know where I'm going to. I'm not going to cut too far. And then only diagonal lines. If you're going to sew in two ways, you're not going to have a, 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 um, a line to cut through, if that makes sense. So I'd only do this diagonally and one set of lines. Don't cross them. Sonia loves my new book, thank you very much. Right, you'll be surprised as well. Um, I didn't bring a scrubbing brush down with me, so I was a bit distracted this morning. Um, you can give your fabric quite a rough scrub, I'll come from this end, um, to make it go fluffy. And it doesn't actually damage. But if you're a little bit wary, then use a soft scrubbing brush or just put it through the washing machine. And I do that before you make up the rest of the bag, to be honest. We might not get around to finishing the whole bag, but this was the main bit I wanted to show you. I'll, I'll do my best, but I'm aware there's important things happening today and we need to be done. Certainly by three o'clock. Right, let's in here. So just starting it off with a quick unpick. And then in with the scissors. You'll need a sharp pair of scissors that are sharp right up to the point. If that's going to be a little embroidery snips, then that's fine. Colette loves me back, thank you very much. Oh, deep, I'm, I'm missing um, Facebook questions. The, the, the caravan, it, it's not really a bag, it's um, storage for dolls or children's toys so it's just like a folder that you open out and there's um, toys inside it oh, you can store toys inside it right I think that'll do so I'm going to see if I can rough this up a little bit just so I can get the, the inside bit showing so that's working so that'll start to go fluffy now. And the more aggressive you are, the more fluffy it'll go. Is that really noisy at home? Sorry if it is. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna iron it open a little bit. Um, so again, normally I'd have my, um, a quite a stiff um, scrubbing brush. I'm going to press that open. I don't know what that was. Meanwhile, suede brush, that's a good idea, Tina, because they're, they're like um, metal, aren't they? Um, it's 
started my caravan bag from my granddaughter and stuck as a hat attached to hinge at the bottom of the bag. I'll have a look on the instructions. I can't remember off the top of my head, Lynn. I'll have a look later on. Brenda Chenille cutters are perfect for something like this. Um, hello, Gatha in Cape Town. Um, I've put Brenda one black layer on the top and three layers of coloured fabric and then the bottom one is black fabric as well. So I'm just kind of opening this up and pressing it so that you can see more what I'm doing. Just to make it a little bit quicker. In we go. That's where these little lines come into their own, isn't it? Oh, that's better because we really want to see those colours from behind. Yeah, watch your fingers when you're doing this. Well, that looks nice, actually. I've not thought about pressing it before, but actually that's, that's opened it all out really well, hasn't it? I'll still fluff it up a bit. I think my coffee's arriving. Coffee. Thank you. The kettle's on. Al Everybody else. Al oh, don't say that. Alex has already been asking where you are. Does Alex want one? She probably does, but she's not going to get one. <laughs> Thank you. I just half past one. It's almost wine o'clock, isn't it? I didn't say that too loud. I didn't really want one. Um, Sheila's just made the April block of the month. Lovely. Well, that's opened it up a little bit better so you can see what I'm doing there. It's good, isn't it? Really effective. Um, but again, I would, I, I like it to go fluffy, so I would be getting um, the scrubbing brush on that and just giving it a good old going over. <laughs> He's gone, Lisa. You've missed out on your coffee. Right. While I've got the iron, I'll make the straps for the bag. Um, so again, basically, on the back, I've got the black fabric, so the same as the front facing up, so I can see the black in between here as well. And then three brightly pieces coloured of, of, of coloured fabric there. And I just thought, against the black, those bright colours just really stand out, don't they? So let's make up the rest of the bag. This is ever so easy. So I did, I did want a quick project from today. Um, the straps, um, oh, they're long, aren't they? Let's make them a bit shorter. Um, I've cut two strips of fabric that measure four inches across. So I have done this lots of times before. So apologies for being repetitive. And I think that looks like a good length. So four inches across. Hi, Mary. We're all late today and 20 inches long and I'm just going to fold to the centre and iron to find, move over a bit, I'm in the wrong place aren't I? Um, find the centre mark here like this <laughs> Lisa, go, go get yourself a cup of coffee. And then that goes to the edge. Uh, sorry, from the edge to the centre. Like so. So it's like a big piece of bias binding, really. No problem, Jean. I hope you enjoy it. Lisa, you miss me ditty. You'll have to wind it back and have a listen. I did a wonky ditty this morning. Right, and then we'll fold that in half and press again. Then I'll just sew down each side of that and that's the strap finished. I was all prepared to get this done before we came on today, but so things run a little bit late. It's all right, Mary. I should be, I should be watching it myself when it starts at three with military in the background that sounds amazing isn't it <laughs> fabulous what he's done with his um funeral car i was trying to think if i if i could plan what i was going to arrive at the church in for my funeral what, what kind of car would i have duke's got a land rover if you're not aware that he's had converted i think i'd have to have a porsche 
I did see actually um, a while ago driving okay. down some road um, a motorbike and sidecar and the sidecar bit was a coffin and I just thought that was that was so lovely my father-in-law died a few years ago and he was uh, mad on motorbikes and that, that would have been really fitting the fitting way to go see you Sabine I'll see you next week so yeah but I think, I think I'd, I'd have to have a, a Porsche with a trailer on the back maybe <laughs> a glamorous way to go out Right, so I'm just going to sew down both sides of this one. In fact, where are we? Oh, we're, we're okay for time. I think we'll be fine. Oh, Carol's dad had a motorbike and sidecar. I, I just thought that was a lovely idea. Um, viewing went well. Jean, we've put an offer in. So we'd be just hoping and hoping. It's one of those where um, they don't let you know how much other people are offering. So it's not an auction, but you put your offer in and then if you don't, well, I presume they just go for the highest one, but you don't know what, what the others are, which is a bit, a bit frustrating. Add to what a zipper section to the base of a tote style bag. I don't at the moment, Sharon, but that's a good idea. That's one to put on the list. And I'm just running out of thread at the bottom, so let me wind. Oh, that was good timing. I'll just put some more thread on there. That'll do. Thank you, Claire. Thank you, Ellen. Thank you, Jean. <laughs> Actually, the house is a little bit wonky, to be honest. Right. Never thought I'd actually be living in a wonky house, but there you go. Maybe, Zell, that's a good idea. And at least we have sold this house, so it should be in with a good chance, I think. Um, Alex, they said maybe they, they're going to give the offers to the vendor today, but it might take a couple of days for him to make his mind up. So we'll see. Oh, that's sad, Mary. <laughs> oh, Adele. Um, Catherine, there's enough room for two studios in this place, all going with us. Um, I think we'll keep the office on for a few years, though. I've got to get it, though. Right. I'm so, let me show you what I'm doing. I'm sewing down both sides, um, just because it looks better, I think, than just sewing on one. So again, lots of sewing in straight lines, but there we go. Eva's finally got to be a member of the Half Yard Club. Welcome along. Glad you're enjoying it so far. Thanks, Alex. I'm very well, thank you. Romali, is that? In Sri Lanka. Right, and I'm just going to make up just, ooh, coffee. Like a regular tote bag. So, again, if you, what have I done with the top? If you weren't watching at the beginning, I'd normally now put fusible fleece or some kind of backing onto the bag, otherwise it's floppy. So I, I think it needs something to make it stand up. So I use, um, I've got a Velizaline, I think this one's H630, which is just a polyester fleece that you iron onto the back of the fabric. You could use a foam. Um, you could use, oh, where is it? I do have somewhere some Decoville somewhere down here this is Decaville which is quite a stiff um, interfacing again it's iron on um, all do the same job they just give the fabric a little bit more firmness so whereas without any kind of backing you have a floppy bag with a backing it's almost stands up on its own so it is it's um, 
it works. That I normally put under the outside of the bag because that's the bit that you feel. Um, but for speed's sake, I've already put it on the lining. So normally I'd put it on here now. So that's the back of the bag that's already got it on. And that dropped on the floor. And that is going to be the lining of the front of my bag. Have a look at that a minute while I just pick this up. Um, oh, come here. Oh, 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 there we go. Got it. Um, yeah, Jenny, it's, it's just frustrating, isn't it? Because we've, we've actually put an offer in that's higher than the asking price. But then if somebody else put on a thousand pounds more, I'd go back and say, well, I'll increase it because I want it so much. But you just don't know, do you? Anyway, let's put the handles on next. So these are going to be facing downwards without a twist. And I'm just going to line that up with, let's say, the centre of each side of the heart. You can measure that if you wish, just to make sure that they're in exactly the right place. And we'll have a couple of clips in there for now. And then on the back of the bag, the second handle goes on in just the same way. So curve it around. Make sure it's not twisted, that is. No, it's not. And I'm lining those two up so that they're in the same place. And a couple of clips in there. Like so. Then I'm just going to sew those in place. Oh, what was that one? Um, when, when my partner passed away in 2009. Oh, I missed that. Oh, there we go. Um, his scooter, his buddies escorted him to the Chapel of Rest. There were 30 of them. It was a great sight. He would have loved it. Oh, that's so sweet. Oh. See you next week, Sarah. Thank you for joining me. Right, so I'm just literally saying straight across. This is, uh, I've done this so many times before. It was mainly the, <coughs> excuse me, the fabric slashing bit that I wanted to show you. Because that's something that you can use on a cushion cover as well. So if you, if you wanted to add a little bit of something different. Thank you, Asima. I'd keep the outer fabric quite plain. I know this has got little hearts all over it. Um, but if it's, I wouldn't use a very heavily patterned or coloured fabric for the outside because you're not actually going to see the heart shape coming through very well. So a contrast is a good idea. Like with the one that I made here. Copy again. Um, that's like um, a pale pink stripe. But the colours underneath here are just really, really bold. So they, they really stand out. And I chose, I use webbing for this one, but I used one of the colours that were in here. So again, it, that all kind of matches. Put that on there. Oh, I'm crossing my fingers for you, Colette, as well then. Let me know how you get on. Um, it's black. It's black heart fabric, Jackie. It's the, um, the cotton poplin we've got on the website. So right sides together with the front and the back. And I'm just going to sew across the top. Um, my lines are about half an inch apart or about a centimetre apart, Margaret. I wouldn't do them any wider than that one. I'll just keep sewing. More straight lines. Oh, you're talking recipes, lovely. And then we'll sew the top of the line, uh, sorry, the top of the back of the bag to the top of its lining in the same way. Ombre fabrics look amazing as well, wouldn't they? You can do just that. Oh, can you do that, Eve? And even See, my, in my thinking, Eve, if the estate agent would have said well actually somebody's already bid this would you want to increase your bid it means they make more money instead of just saying no we'll go for the highest and that's it because somebody could have gone higher anyway so we have two pieces that look like this that's the outside of the bag so we'll need to sew these right sides together 
like so. And I'm going to go all the way around, but leave a gap in the bottom of the lining side. <laughs> What's that one? Alex says, when I go, I'll be pushed to the pier in a wheelbarrow and tipped off the end. It'll save a fortune. Do you know, I'm with you on that one. <laughs> so again, just so all the way around the edge. And I'm just using the edge of my foot as a seam allowance so it's not um, set in stone that it's half an inch or a quarter of an inch or anything. It doesn't really matter on a bag like this. Do want to make sure that I match the seams up at the sides there. Let's cross the bottom. <laughs> Poor, I'm good with my fingers. I just, if I'm not looking at what I'm sewing, I get wobbly sew lines, that's all. But saying that, I'm going to spike myself in a minute, aren't I? Hello, Claire. I took so many, 365 today. I'm, I'm surprised actually, I didn't think anybody would be here this afternoon. I did I did think about cancelling today because of the funeral, but I had so many comments saying please don't, that we'll do something. We'll just keep it quick. Chat amongst yourselves, straight lines being sewn here. Hello, Susan from Ireland on Facebook. Oh, well, we shed the cash, Susan, but we have sold, so hopefully that will go in our favours. But yeah, you're right. So there is a gap in the bottom, so I can turn this the right side out. Over we go. A single heavy duty good for bags. I've never used one, Diane. I'm, I'm assuming if it's heavy duty, it should be good for bags. Right, we've done this side. Hello, Kate in Ireland. Glad you're liking it. Should we square the base? Yeah, let's put a little. Let's put a little square in the base. Um, normally, I pinch the corners, but uh, let's let's cut them out this time. Hello, David in Uganda. So I'm going two inches from the corner. So that's not the seam allowance, that's actually from the corner. It doesn't matter as long as all of the corners are the same. Like so. And we'll do this on all four pieces, or all four corners. Thank you, Lisa. If you're on YouTube actually, and, um, and you want to subscribe and then hit the alarm bell um, I think you get a ding or something when we go live so you don't miss anything um, and I can if you subscribe I can actually send you messages so if like today I sent everyone a message just saying we're going to be a little bit late today um, and if anything's coming up then I can, I can let you know what's going on so it doesn't cost anything to subscribe so it'd be quite nice if you could if you don't mind thanks Yvette for the thumbs up Yes, Anne, we've put an offer in on the house we saw this morning because I fell in love with it. So everybody's crossing everything. We've got cross fingers and toes and knees and everything all across the country. So I, I hope it works. Thank you. It, it's like mind over matter, isn't it? We're going to will them to say yes. <laughs> I think you're right, Sarah. It's meant to be. We did find a place, actually, when talking about that, um, and it was an old chapel. We used to live in a chapel years ago. It was a beautiful place. Um, and we put in an offer and we didn't hear back from them and I was gutted I really thought that was going to be the place but when I saw this one today I thought that's why we didn't get the other one because this one was waiting for us I'm not showing you what I'm doing I'm just talking away that, like, we're, like we're just sitting here having a coffee and we're mates well we are mates aren't we and we're having a coffee so let's have a chat anyway um, Julie tried to join, why can't we go through PayPal to pay? They, oh, um, the website doesn't accept PayPal. And I'll tell you why. It cost a fortune to set it up, and we were talking thousands of pounds. Um, so at the moment, we're not, we're not doing PayPal. I don't, I don't know why, but that's, that, that's the reason. It was just the expense of it. Um, anyway, so there's the cutout corners. 
pull those open so the seams meet and we're just going to sew straight across in a straight line. Thank you Kay Miller. Oh, I'm, I'm trying to be quick Helen because I want to be done way before three but I think we're okay for time. We're 20 past two. But these videos stay on YouTube and on Facebook like forever so if you need to disappear off then you can always watch later on hello judy in north georgia oh julie it is safe um we use um i think that it, is it stripe uh, everything's very safe on there don't worry about it the half yard club i'm, I'm oh hello from south carolina mary um just got her packing kids toys <laughs> thank you caroline i'm good um, I'll just mention quickly, Half Yard Club is um, a subscription website that is actually run with SearchPress with my publishers. So everything is above board and safe um, and professional. It, you know, it's, it's, not, it's not just me making projects and selling them to you. There's quite a big team there. We've got a marketing team uh, with Sophie and Claire. Um, Caroline, who's actually MD of Search Press, it was her idea in the first place, she's involved as well. Um, if you send messages or email over the weekend, it's probably Caroline that picks them up and answers them. We do have a helpline, we do have support. Um, I, I'm creative, I do, I do the projects, but just like when I write a book, those projects are then sent to an editor, so everything's edited. If there's any patterns, they go to a designer, so the patterns are all uh, proper everything's proofread and checked um, so uh, 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 feel safe um, and it's worldwide as well <laughs> Lisa's not part Lisa you are part of the team anyway I'm going to turn this the right side out now next step And I have an L. So if you pull the two sides of the hole away from each other, I'd normally change my thread, I think. I think a black one would have been better here. But I'm just going to sew straight over the hole. Like that. I meant to talk to my daughter, actually. She does my um, Instagram. Um, do you do Instagram? because she phoned me up the other day and she says, do you know we've got 12,000 subscribers, it's about time we did a giveaway. So um, I don't know, it might, it might be 12 items going out to one person or one item going out to 12 people, I'm not sure what she's arranged. But if you have a look on my Instagram page um, on Debbie Shaw Sewing, then I'll, I'll get her to put it up there. Thank you, Maroon. I'm with Sarah, if it's... Um, meant to be it's meant to be so let's push the lining inside here and then we're about done Connie I think Bobbin would be okay as long as she's with us right. so push that inside there it's a nice size little bag actually isn't it let me show you what I'm doing and those corners out I think one last thing I'll do is just to top stitch all the way around the top just to hold all of those layers in place like so so yeah I've got um, there's a few Instagram pages Half Yard Sewing Club um, we have one. Um, my website has an Instagram page and there's my Debbie Shaw Sewing Instagram page and then Kim's got an Instagram page and I quite like Instagram because it's, I mean, it's all free and um, you can pick up lots of ideas there when people post what, what they've been doing and what they've been making. Thank you Rochelle. So again, just sewing around the top. Make sure the seam's right on the top. 
and that stops the lining lifting up. And I like top stitching, I think it looks nice. And you can get that, I would make a nice lunch bag, Sharon. Um, you can make them any size you like, so you could make a much smaller one, much bigger one. I just wanted really to show you that slash fabric technique. And here you go. Thank you, Eva. There's lots of you on the Half Yard Club, um, Half Yard Club members now. We're definitely into thousands. Um, and it's worldwide, which is nice. So it's a little bit like um, looking at all of your comments here on YouTube and Facebook from all over the world. It's, it's really nice to see. Um, you could do this on a T-shirt, Jules, but it might be a, a bit stiff because you, you've got like four, five layers of fabric. But you could do it with maybe just a couple of layers. That would look nice. There you go, that's done. Maybe that can be one of the prizes that we give away on Facebook, what do you think? Uh, on Instagram, you could do that, couldn't I? I'll put it in the giveaway pile. There you go. Right here, well, I'm going to pop off because it's about time, I think. Um, so enjoy the rest of your weekend. I shall see you again on, let's check over here, on... Um, Wednesday at two o'clock and that'll be on my website and on Facebook and then I'll be here next Saturday we'll, we'll be back at 11 o'clock in the morning unless I'm moving house or something um, so thank you for joining me today um, thanks Lisa and you Trace is in Ohio hello to you just about to go and thanks Alex and bye Irene Lovely. Okay, I'll have a read back through all of your messages and see um, see if I've missed any. Um, thank you, Zell. Thank you, Anne. You know, I spent half an hour saying hello to everybody at the beginning and then half an hour saying thank you at the end. Um, but seriously, thank you for joining me. It's lovely to have you come. I love these Saturdays and the Wednesday afternoons. Um, and I hope, I hope you do too. So again, I'll see you on Wednesday at 2 on the website and Facebook. YouTube will be back again next Saturday at 11 o'clock in the morning. So you go take care. And I'll see you again next week. Bye.